Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Norland, where King Bernard has a dream. He would like to lead an alliance of three realms, three lands united against whatever the world might throw at them, and right now we have nobody at all as part of that alliance. Not one single person has joined. Bernard's dream hasn't quite taken shape just yet, which is a little bit of a shame. However, I think in not too long at all, we might be able to get the people of Lakehold on board, because their king Stepanislav has been visiting for a little while now is over in Cabordia just having a lovely time there and that's fine you're very welcome Stepanislav but I think at some point he's going to go home he'll make his way back to Lake Cold and then Bernard can pop down here and discuss the terms of an alliance which would be very good indeed and I think they do get on I think Bernard and Stepanislav are getting on very well let's go and take a look actually what are the current sort of opinion things like so Bernard to Stepanislav Stepanislav's opinion of Bernard is plus 112 and it's got a little happy smiley face, which has got to be a good thing. So they're getting on really well. They're getting on very well. And of course, that's what Bernard does. That's Bernard's thing. You know, he's very good at schmoozing and charming and all that kind of stuff. So well done, Bernard. That is very good. The only thing I don't know is, when does Stepanislav go home? When do you go home, Stepanislav? You're hanging around over here in the hall, which is fine. That's okay. But when do you depart? Do we kind of have to tell you to leave? I'm not entirely sure. We can't exile you because that doesn't make sense. I don't want to capture him. And social, there isn't anything that kind of says, can you please go home? So I'm not quite sure what we do. Uh, let's move time on. Let's run time on and we'll see what we do with Stepanislav. It might be that he just kind of hangs around for a couple of days and then goes away. I'm not entirely sure, but we do need him to depart, I think, because I don't think we can discuss the alliance when he's not there. I don't think we can do it. Um, where are we? Oh, no, hang on. Invite your alliance. Stepanislav will join the Alliance of Free Cities under your leadership. Oh, we can do it while he's here. Oh, he doesn't have to go back home at all. Oh, this is magnificent. Hang on a minute. Can we get this sorted right now? Stepanislav, would you like to join our alliance? This is going to be amazing. Okay, Bernard, go and do that, please, because you and Stepanislav get on very well indeed. So here we go. This could be huge. Uh, Bernard, where are There's Bernard. Bernard appears to be going the wrong way. Bernard? Stepanislav's over there. He's having a lovely time in the Great Hall. Everybody else is going in, except Stepanislav, except Bernard, sorry. Bernard, where are you going? Bernard might be giving out orders. He might be giving out orders to people, because that is his job. That's one of his roles, is to go and give orders. Although, it appears to me... No, he's going on his own. He's going on the map. He's going down here. Even though Stepanislav is over there, he's going to make his way all the way down to here to discuss the alliance with other people, I would assume. Um, okay, right, and that's fine. That's okay. We'll get it done. Yeah, it's an important thing to do. It's a big tick in the box to get one person on board. And then also, whilst we're here on the map, there is over here a little bandit camp. There is a camp of forest bandits right there. There are five of them. The value in the camp is 125 money and then possibly something else. And I think maybe what we can do is, if we go and take them out, that will make the people of Misthaven like us a little bit because we've helped out. And yeah, thank you to the people in the comments that did point this out because I wasn't aware of that. But yeah, if we go and clear that bandit camp out, the people of Misthaven will think, oh, that was brilliant. Thank you, Kabordia. We like you a little bit more for dealing with the bandit problem. And also it gives a chance for Betty to get out there and actually show her skills because we haven't done any real fighting yet. The only one fight we did was with Bernard in charge. So Betty hasn't really had a chance to show off her amazing fighting skills. So I think as well, we'll send Bernard down here to do alliance stuff. That's kind of his special skill. And then we'll send Betty over here to do some fighting and take out some bandits, which is going to be good. So do you know what? There is no time like the present. Let's get this done right now, shall we? So can we please attack the camp of forest bandits? There are five of them there, and yeah, we're just going to have a fight. Yeah, relationship with with of this land, it says. I imagine it means with the ruler of this land is plus five, which is no bad thing. That's quite nice. We'll take that. So, okay, can we please attack? We've got to create a new squad, of course, because we haven't got an existing army. Uh, and yes, absolutely. It could be squad Betty. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, take them all. Take them all. Take every single fighty person we've got. We shall have one piece of armor. We shall have... How many fighters have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, okay, we'll take... Do we take two bows? 
take two bow and arrow and then take four, what are they, maces. Yeah, four of those. That should be enough. I'm quite happy with that. So everyone's got a weapon. We've got one bit of armor. We've got no shields, which is a little bit of a shame, but never mind. Yeah, there we go. Create six warriors, six weapons. Perfect. And then squad Betty, uh, victory chance 58%. Okay, that could be better. It could be worse, of course. But um, yeah, okay, right. Let's send that army over there to the lands of Misthaven to go and deal with some forest bandits. And hopefully, yes, that'll make them like us a bit more because we've done them a favour. So, Betty, your time is now. You've got something to do, Betty. You can go and have a big old fight. So, Bernard's off on his own over there. And I think we should see Betty very slowly but surely begin to rouse the warriors and then get ready for a bit of a fight. Uh, Rat Pnub. Oh, yeah. Rat Pnub is still around. The uh, bishop, whatever it is. They're having a chat with Stepanislav. That's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, okay, right. Let's get the warriors together then. This does take a little while, I think. So let's get them sort of mustered. I think, yeah, they're grabbing their supplies and things. Are they now ready to go? They're ready. They're all ready. And look at Betty. Betty's got the royal armor on with her crown on top as well. Everybody's ready to go for a fight. So two of our lords, our kind of two main lords, if you like, are going to be wandering around on the map very soon, which is quite exciting, isn't it? When are they both going to appear? Can we see them both appear? Oh, Slavomir, as a result of aging, forgot paper workshop. Uh, okay. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. Oh, no, who are you? Who are you? Slavomir. Um, who's Slavomir? You're not one of ours. You're a Misthaven person. Oh, botherations. Are you coming to visit us the moment our super fantastic charming king leaves? Okay. Okay, fine. We'll have to deal with that. We'll have to deal with that. I just want to make sure people get to where they're supposed to be. Or at least appear on the map. So, Betty and team, can you appear on the map? Okay, right. So, Slavomir has appeared at the settlement the moment everybody else leaves. Marvellous. <laughs> okay, can anybody have a chat with him? Who have we got? Manners 3, Persuasion 2. Manners 4, Persuasion 3. Okay, Nika, Nika, can you have a chat with uh, can you have a chat with the other king that's come round? Can you have a chat with Slavomir, please? Go and um, spend some time with them, maybe. Oh no, hang on, we we'll click on you on me, Slavomir. Um, social, spend time, Nika. I, I mean, yo, know, it's it's the best of a bad bunch there. So Nika, go and have a chat with the new king that's just turned up, and try as best you can to just be sort of polite. Okay, I think King Bernard has arrived at Lakehold. Yes. Bernard arrived in Lakehold and is ready to carry out assignments. Okay, so do they now do they now go into the city? Can we look around the city? I'm not entirely sure. Do we go to a different city? No, so we can't see what Lakehold looks like, but we know that we're there. Okay, so you're in Lakehold. So now do we need to tell you to do the thing again? Oh no, that's send home. So I assume that Bernard is going to go and get on with the Alliance thing without us having to do anything else. That's just his current job whilst he's out there. Okay, well, that's fine. So now, tick time on to make sure that Betty gets down here and we will deal with the fight. Oh, okay, dear Bernard, I hope for a day when there'll be no need to form alliances, yet the world is steeped in enmity. And this treaty shall aid us in our joint struggle against wickedness and treachery. Signed by my own hand, King Stepanislav, which is a little bit of a fear, isn't it, King Stepanislav? Because you're in our town where we live and we're where you live and we're in completely different places. But there we go. So Stepanislav has decided to join your alliance of free cities. This means noble houses promise to help each other if either side city is attacked. Okay, so a little bit of military support going on. The treaty does not apply to the defence of villages or bandit attacks. Okay, that's fine. In a request for help from one side, an ally pledges to send their warriors to the rescue. The alliance will be terminated if the relationship with the leader drops below minus 25. Hopefully with Bernard at the helm, that won't happen. Warfare, shady actions and intrigue between allies are excluded. Okay, so we can't then suddenly go, do you know what? You are our allies, but we don't like you that much right now, so let's have a fight. We just can't do that. Okay, that's fine. Alliance members can enter into trade contracts without restrictions and the market volume increases. Members of an alliance of cities cannot have vassals. Relationship with Stepanislav up by 15. Okay, they're really good buddies. Okay, this is very good. So that's that sorted out. So okay that, please. And then look, 
it's on 33%, which is wonderful. Right, let's get you down here then. Let's get Betty to do a fight. Slavomir told a joke to Nika. Nika, okay, this is good. They're getting on. Slavomir is now getting on with Nika. Um, Bernard is on his way back, which is good. And we are now ready for a little bit of a fight. Here we go. So let's see what the odds are. The odds are slightly in our favour, but not overwhelmingly so. Okay, so we've got more people. We've got one more person. Our combat skill is vastly greater than theirs. Our morale is better. And our equipment is worth more. And our commander is better as well. So why... I would have thought, with all that stuff stacked on our side, the odds would have been a little bit more in our favour. But okay, yeah, Betty is much better at commanding and combat than the wonderfully named and wonderfully bearded Engelbert there. Um, okay, let's dive in, and we shall actually you know, play out the fight. Here we go. Um, do we want Betty to stay at the back and protect the archers? But Betty's very good at fighting. Betty is super fighty. No, we're not going to leave Betty at the back because that would just make her cross. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Let us lead a charge against these four. Is there four there or is there one hiding behind the flat? No, there's five of them. OK, right. So run time at normal speed because it looks a bit bonkers if you do it too quickly. Um, OK, hostile squad. Near oh, that's them. OK, uh, Dragonhorn Consequences of War. As a result of the war in the neighbouring province of Dragonhorn, migration from there has increased. The refugees belong to the Maka culture. Okay, the market volume for all goods has increased. Okay, so because we are now allies with somebody, we can buy and sell more things when we do trading, possibly. Okay, that's fine. And uh, yeah, we can clear some of these out now. So clear that. Clear that. That's okay. I don't know where Dragonhorn is. We'll go and check that out in a second. Right, let's get this fight done, shall we? Let's get the fight done. So, ah, the archers are firing already. Couple of good hits there. Well done, archers. Okay, fire again. Two more arrows incoming. Can we get another two hits? Just one hit, but one of their people does not look very healthy. Can we get another volley of arrows in? Just for Yes, we can. And another hit. Okay, so I think we got... Four hits there out of six arrows, which is not too bad. And look who's at the front leading the charge. It's Betty. Of course it is. Betty at the front there, poking this chap here in a very good hat with a big stick. This is wonderful. Um, oh, it's Betty. No, Betty's going for the leader. Betty's gone straight for the leader. Okay, this is brilliant. Oh, the leader's lost his weapon. Betty's disarmed the leader. Um, they are being... Oh, hang on a minute. Are we being... I suspect maybe we're being beaten up a bit here. Some of our people are lying down. Come on, Betty. You can do this. You can do this. Um, hang on a minute. More fight. The archers are still piling in the arrows, which is brilliant. This is great. So, right, they run away. The enemy squad commander is running away. Okay. I think that might have been quite close. That might have been quite close. Um, oh, no. Okay. We deployed seven. None of ours died, escaped, or got captured. And they deployed five. Four escaped. Four escaped and only one got captured. Oh dear, that's not very good, is it? Okay, but the good thing is that we have wood. We've dispersed the baddies. Okay, right, wonderful. So what do we get? The bandit camp has been destroyed. Relationship with the king and the bishop up by nine. Relationships with, I assume, the people from Misthaven up by five. And a loot of zero. Really? Really, actually, really. I was hoping for much gold from this. A hundred gold or something. I was thinking, oh, that'd be quite nice. But no, we appear to have dealt with the worst bandits in the entire world. Bandits who forgot how to bandit. <laughs> they had nothing at all. Oh, okay, okay. We did it. We did it for the for the good of the people of Miss Taven. That's what we did it for, honest. Um, oh, okay, that's a little bit underwhelming, but okay. Look, right, Betty, make your way back home then. Let's get you back home, please, Betty. Nice and safe. Um, your movement speed... Is your movement speed down because you're injured? Or you've got a prisoner or something? I'm not quite sure. And where is Dragonhorn? Ah, Dragonhorn is down here. Okay, right. So you are now... There's a war going on, and yeah, refugees are leaving your place. Okay, but Lakehold is our buddy. Oh, look! And the borders have come down. Oh, that's quite good. Ah, there we go. So yeah, that border has kind of fallen apart a bit to show that we are united. Right, that is very good. Uh, if we get Mist Haven on board, that would be fantastic. But I don't think... 
we're quite at that point just yet. So yeah, clear that. Um, I can't seem to click on Mist Haven for some reason. Why can't I click on Mist Haven? Mist Haven. Normally we click on the place and it lets us do some stuff. Or is it just because we have to click on them now? I'm not sure. However, there is a trader. Are they at the right point? They are now. Um, who's good at trading? Orsa's good at trading. Okay, so could we, uh, could Orsa go and have a chat with the trader just to see what there is? Just have a little nosy what there is. We've got to pay 246 monies for our military people. We might need to get rid of some of them or we need to produce some items that we can sell. We have got a decent amount of wood, although we do need to use some of that to do some building work. So I think, do you know what? What if we pay up right now? So yeah, we're paying 246 money. That's okay. Could we sell a little bit of wood down to 100 wood just to lessen the blow there so 205 monies oh dearie me um yeah we haven't really got we don't sort of generate anything we can sell just yet we need to like make a load of beer or something we need to make a great big pile of beer um okay for now that will do for the trading okay right so this is good we get 30 percent in our favor because of the difference of trade skill because yeah the trader's got a trade skill of five also has got 11 so that's not so bad but our money is tumbling down, which is not particularly good. And of course, if that goes to nothing, we can't afford to pay anybody's going to wage and everyone's going to rebel and it's all going to be very bad. So we do need to do something to generate a little bit of money. I think what we do is, I think, um, yeah, we need to get some people doing some research stuff at some point as well. But can we build down here? Yeah, we're going to get a rye field in, weren't we? That was it. We're going to get a rye field in and then I think we're going to try and learn to do the hop stuff. But right now it's going to be rye and then we're going to put a mill down. And that means we can make flour and flour is a food source. It satisfies the need for nutrition because I think people take it home and make bread themselves. Um, so that is that's 20 wood. OK, and what's a rye field? A rye field is 80 wood. Why is a rye field 80 wood to build? It's just a fence, isn't it? Hang on a minute. But a pig farm is 40 wood. A pig farm, yeah, with walls and roofs and, I don't know, little kind of, uh, little sort of shed cover bits and a gate. That's 40 wood. A rye field, which is just a fence around a square, apparently is 80 wood. Okay. Um, what was 80 and... Is it the one 20? We've got exactly the right amount of wood we need. Okay, that's perfect. How about then, let's get the rye field in... 78% um, fertility right there. Now we can use the rye for, we use it for flour, but we also use it to make beer, don't we? Yeah. So maybe with the rye field, we should get that in on a higher fertility thing. So I want to fit another field in just there if we can. So I think that's going to have to go like that, isn't it? So 98% fertility. So, okay, put us a field in there, please. That's going to be good. And then go to here. get us a mill. Where do we put the mill? Do we put it down here near all this stuff? That would make sense, would it not possibly? Um, but then we might want to put fields down there. We might want to pop some fields down there. So you're yeah, next to these fields. Although we can go down here. Maybe to make sure we have loads of wood, we could get another lumber mill in over here somewhere and they could chop down many trees. Then we'll have three of them. That would also be quite a good idea. I think, let's put it kind of just here. I think we should be able to fit another field in next to that. I think they're about that size, aren't they? Are they about that big? I think they're about that big. So if we put, if we put, or do we just put it here, look? So it's kind of underneath the temple and it's not going to get in the way of any fields that we might want to possibly put in over there. We'll drop it in just there. It did kind of blat a few trees out of existence, but never mind, not to worry. Um, yeah, okay. So we've got a mill going in and then we have a rye field going in. So hopefully that can help out with our food a little bit. At the moment, we're just we're just eating the, um, the rutabagas. We're just eating these things. Uh, interesting enough, by the way, I do like this. In the comments on the previous videos, there is still quite a lot of discussion as to what exactly a rutabaga is. 
it's very interesting. Some people are saying it's a swede. Some people are saying it's a turnip. Some people are saying it's kind of you know, mixed between the two. Some people are saying it's something else entirely. I mean, I don't know. I've got no idea. I'd never, ever heard of a rutabaga before I've seen it in this game. But uh, yeah, visually, the little picture looks a bit like it's kind of the shape of a turnip. But turnips, well, certainly the ones I've ever seen, are kind of, they do have that sort of purplish colour, but not all the way round. Turnips are sort of a bit whiter than that, I think. And they kind of might have a slight purplish kind of tint to them somewhere. Um, so, yeah, who knows? Who knows? The great Rutabaga debates can carry on because I don't know what one is. I'm not entirely sure. Um, OK, right. So Bernard is back home. So I think, Slavomir, can we now talk to you with Bernard? Because that's going to work better. So, uh, yes, Bernard, go and have a chat. Uh, Nika, you don't need to do that anymore. Um... Nika is, yeah, Nika's the reading one. So can we get you to do some reading? Hotfield and beer. Absolutely. Can, oh, could you learn that? Yes. Okay, it's written language you can understand. Nika, can you please go and learn about Hotfields and beer? Because that would be very, very useful. Because then we can get some beer on the go, which is marvellous. Um, let's take a look at our current condition, uh, current sort of uh, warnings as well, sorry. A lot of unemployed... So eight unemployed people. However, we're going to get some people over here in the field and some people in the mill. So that might bring that down. We need a barracks. The barracks cannot hold all the hired warriors and they must sleep outside or on temple floors. OK, we need another barracks. OK, we can sort that out. We have a very weak army. OK, we're going to try to do that, but it's really expensive. <laughs> An army is very expensive. Hire at least seven warriors in the army menu. You no, know it's too much. Alcohol production is absent. Um, okay, yeah, that is true. Taverns are not functioning. In a city, not a single tavern is operational, and the residents cannot purchase alcohol to relieve fatigue. Surely sleep relieves fatigue, game. Eh? <laughs> okay, and the peasants are tired. Oh, yes, we haven't got a tavern, because I didn't think we needed one. But no, they need to go to a tavern to drink the beer to make them slightly less worn out about life. OK, um, where is that then? Uh, serve it. Tavern. OK, 25 wood. Right, we're going to put this down. Um, I mean, is it weird? Put it, I kind of feel we shouldn't put it near the temple. Let's put it over here so people can go there and they can walk past this way and then you know go to their houses down here. I kind of feel like it should. Can we rotate it? No, we can't rotate that one. That doesn't have a rotatey thing. Uh, we'll put it here because it can fit just there. Okay, and that, I imagine, because people are going to have to work in the tavern, that'll provide more jobs. So hopefully, with that tavern in, that might be able to bring down quite a lot of these issues here. That would be very good. Uh, okay, right, this is wonderful. Uh, oh, hang on, what's Slavomir doing? There's a little kind of musical note thing. Waiting for somebody. Are you enjoying some music? Oh, you're just having a chat with Bernard. Oh, okay, no, that's fun. There's a kind of music note next to you. I don't know what that was, but okay, that must be your sort of entertaining or whatever. But um, right, okay, let's run time on. Let's see how long Stepanislav hangs around. I mean, do you, do you want to go and see your family, Stepanislav? <laughs> Would you like to go home maybe at some point? I have been insulted, says Stepanislav. I assume by Slavomir, but okay. Um, so yeah, Slavomir, we need to sort of, yeah, schmooze a little bit. And then when they like us, we can then go over to their part of the world down in Misthaven. They already like us a little bit, I think. Um, oh, they've got the they've got the sort of shaky ally sort of hand thing. Invite to your alliance. OK, already they like us. OK, this is fabulous stuff. This is very good. Uh, we'll run time on a bit until people are up and about and they've had breakfast and everything else. Uh, and then when Bernard's done a little bit more chatting... He's got severe hunger right now. Have some food, Bernard. That'll sort that out. Uh, unless there isn't any. Is there food? Bernard, have some substandard food. <laughs> I do apologise. Oh, no, you're down here. You're down here doing Zumba again. OK, now this is fine. <laughs> Go. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. OK, right. You've done your exercises for the day. That's all very good. Who are you? Who are you? Caden. Hello, Caden. Who are you? Oh, you're the prisoner. You're the prisoner that Betty brought back. We've got, yeah, one prisoner. Uh, and they're employed. It says they're employed. What are you employed to do? 
I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we can't punish them. We could free them, I suppose. They become a peasant or a warrior. You've got combat four. So how about uh, Teodor? Uh, we'll get yeah. We'll free you. Uh, I don't know. Betty can do that because yeah, she can. She can see that he fought bravely. He survived. He's the only one that survived from the attack. And Betty can appreciate, you know, somebody who was pretty nifty in combat and you didn't run away, you didn't surrender. You were prepared to fight, and you know, to the very end. So you did okay. You did okay. So you've earned your freedom, but we might not keep you as a warrior because we can't afford the warriors at the moment because it's too expensive. So, um, yes, if you could just sort of come down. Although, if we do keep you as a warrior, it does get rid of our thing here. Um, the children not being educated. Oh, oh, hang on. Who's good? Is Nika's good at educating. Um, yeah, hang on a minute. Can you can you teach Geek some things, please? What does Geek need to be taught in? Geek needs skills in manners and persuasion. I thought thought the old man was teaching you manners and persuasion. I thought Bernard was on that, but okay, clearly not. Um, okay, what do we what do we do here then? So uh, hang on, educate. Uh, intelligence and teaching, trading and management, manners and persuasion. So yeah, Nika, can you also, as well as doing all the other things we were told you to do, can you also, um, can you teach Geek, please, a little bit? Just, just teach Geek how to do the things. I'm just trying to work our way through this so we kind of get through all these list of problems nice and quick. So I think, yeah, we'll get rid of the peasants too tired and the taverns not functioning problems by building the tavern. Inflamed wounds in soldiers. Your soldiers have infected wounds, which may lead to death in the next two days. Oh, okay. Have we got... Yes, we have got medical salves. We've got five of them. Um, okay, so who's who's injured? Can we find out which of our soldiers isn't very well? Um, they hang around in the barracks, I would assume. Uh, is it them? Are they not very well? I don't know how we work out who is ill. Bar trying to look for somebody whose legs hanging off or whatever. I'm not quite sure. Um, okay, Stepanislav and Rat, uh, Ratpnub, the bishop there, having a little chat. Okie doke. Where is Bernard? Bernard is over there. Oh, hang on. Hang on. The builders haven't got their tasks yet, I don't think. That's the little kind of building, sort of supply stockpile thing. Um, Bernard is giving out the orders, but yeah, he's not, is he? Because he's schmoozing. So maybe, because Bernard's doing that, we should give that to somebody else. Um, Betty. You're quite good at this. You're you're better at this than Bernard is. Betty, can you go and tell them what to do? That'd be quite good. Um, yeah, Nika's doing that one there. That's fine. Right, okay, there we go. So yeah, if we could get some building work underway, this would be magnificent. It's a very miserable day here in Cambodia right now. Look at it. It's very soggy. Very sad. Ah, okay. The rye field has got the right amount of wood in so they can work on that and it looks like somebody's bringing in some stuff over here to the mill is that resources geek has got trade and management which is pretty good that's not too shabby at all um yes yeah, so have you brought the resources in yes okay right they're building the mill first which is yeah, fine this is good the people in the mill are going to wait for a little while for something to do because we haven't got anything for them to you know, turn into flour just yet. However, here is the key thing over here. Geek's got manners and persuasion. Oh, Bernard will be so proud. Okay, our field here is done. Oh, hang on. If your neighbour has become your enemy, but is too strong for a military solution, there are other ways to weaken their army. Has one of our neighbours become an enemy? Raid their villages. In the province menu, you use shadow operations, neutralize their commander with intrigue, try to bribe the air, sit out the dangerous time and gather strength by becoming someone's vassal, which will protect you from enemies. Hang on, has somebody become our enemy? Do I need to be aware of this? Uh, oh, yeah, they don't like us over there, do they? They are not loving us, run. They're not an enemy, they're just a little bit kind of a little bit nonplussed with us. That's all. It's fine game. You're making that very dramatic. Um, yes. So we've got Lake Hot on board. Mist Haven will soon come over to us, I'm fairly sure. Moon Realm do like us, but they're already part of an alliance. Can we get them to become our ally rather than theirs? Can we do that? I don't think we can. I'm not entirely sure we can. I don't quite know who we go to next to become allies with. A lot of people are not loving us right now. 
Um, okay, right. I, I don't think anybody's our enemy. I think we're okay for that. So I'm not so worried about that. That's going to be fine. But yeah, down here, look. So appoint a manager. Um, Betty, would you like to manage that field? I'm sure you would be, be delighted to. There you go, Betty. You can manage a field. You tell them what to do. Um, and then the mill requires one person. Betty, you can manage that as well, please. You can be in charge of rye production. So um, she's given the orders to, um, I mean, the fence, that, that bit of stuff on the floor, I don't know. And then come over here. Then you can yell at nobody in particular over here. Ah, there we go. Stepanislav is finally leaving the settlement. My goodness me. <laughs> You've been here for ages, Stepanislav. Your family won't know who you are. Um, but yeah, so now we are schmoozing Slavomir. And yeah, we can, if we wanted to, go and do the whole, um, go and do the alliance thing with them, which might be a good idea. Oh, due to bad mood, Nika refuses to complete your tasks. Oh, Nika is in a bad mood. Mild loneliness, agnostic, hunger, moderate fatigue. Yes, the fatigue is an issue. The fatigue is a greater issue than I thought it was going to be because people can't go to the tavern to have a little drink. So yeah, this is... This is not great. Are you... You're now just having a strop. You're just having a proper full-on tantrum. I'm not doing anything. No, I'm doing no work. Away with you. Oh, dear. Right. Could we go and have a chat with her? Bernard, what are you doing? You're going to drink some alcohol. Okay, could you maybe go and have a chat with them? So, um, I don't know. Spend some time with them. Spend some time with Nika. Yeah, Bernard. And that might make them feel a little bit less lonely. And then they might also, you know, that'll bring their mood back up. Because right now they're just having a bit of a grump. Um, yeah, so let's see. There you go. Look, had a meaningful conversation, plus 11. And you've lost the lonely as well, which is pretty good. Right. That's very good. Nika parodied Bernard, does that say? Oh, Betty and Bernard are going on a date today. We know what that means. <laughs> we know what that means. If the you know, very lovely looking little no oh that was already happening the noble shack is a rocking don't come a knocking okay <laughs> we'll leave them to it I, I think they're done I think I think they've uh, wrote wrote uh, they've uh, finished writing letters to the stork and now uh, they're in here we've got Bernard and Rat Penub just you know breaking out some some little sort of loot things and. Uh, and, I don't know, playing some Wonderwall or something. I don't know. Hey, everybody, here's Wonderwall. Uh, people are seemingly enjoying it. They seem sort of happy. Um, another... Oh, no. The Holy Caravan has arrived again. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> right, also, can you go and chat to them? Um, and can you possibly... You have to pay off our debt again. You have to pay off our debt. But, right, also, it's only 123 this time. Oh, dear. Um... Do you know what? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Just going to have to pay the money. We've paid our warrior thing. Okay, is that, that going to say money is running out? The treasury is nearly empty. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, game. I did notice that. Um, the only thing is we don't have that much to trade. However, we have now got enough wood to build the tavern. Build this first. Priority number one, get the tavern sorted out so people can have a lovely drink and then not feel quite so fatigued. There we go. That's what we need. Uh, people are down here at the market, by the way. That's how we make a bit of money. We sell stuff at this market. So while we do pay the money back out, some money does come back in. We sell yeah, on various. We sell on the um, the mysterious vegetables that nobody's quite sure about, the rutabagas. And we sell the flour and various other bits and bobs. So we do make a little bit of money, but now we are running out of things to sell. So we could really do with that field producing a lot of stuff. We could do with that working sort of right now. Um, and then also, yes, that being able to uh, produce lots of flour. Because, yes, it's going to be a bit of a problem. Consequences of war. Migration from there is increased. Okay, yeah, we saw that before. That's all good. Uh, right, okay, run time on a bit then. We'll run time on to the next day. And then Betty prays Bernard. Oh, those two are getting on so well. It's wonderful. Um, so, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll get to the next day. And then we shall send Bernard down to Miss Haven. It's not even that far. Like it's a little kind of short trip down here. Send them to Miss Haven. Get them on board as part of our alliance. I don't know if that's very good or not just there. But Slavomir, the visiting king, is asleep on the floor in our main hall there. 
I mean, they seem to be okay. I don't think they're complaining about having to sleep on the floor or whatever. But maybe we should possibly build another noble house just to make sure that any noble visitors do have somewhere to sleep. That would make perfect sense. Let's get one of those in as well. So, uh, yeah, another lord house, please. Put that just there. That would be marvellous. And then we do need as well another barracks. Now, where are they? They are 30 wood and 5 iron, as we know it now to be, and not bricks. Sorry, people that bought them over. Um, yeah, we'll put that there. Hang on, was that the was that a thing? Was that a barracks? That looked a bit that looked a bit different there. Um, hang on, pause time for a second. A barracks. Um, oh, that's what the inside of it looks like, of course. Um, yeah, okay, put it sort of so it's the same as that one, I think. So yeah, we'll just pop that across there, look, like that. So build another one of those, but get the um get this in first. Get the tavern sorted out first. Um, okay, characters are drawn to each other with varying degrees of strength, which is reflected in their level of interest. You can see their interest in the relationship tab when hovering over the portrait of another character. Okay, I, I can't recall who said they liked a thing now. So, okay, interest is you know, whether they want to go on a date with them, whether they're going to fall in love, all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, so action. King, revoke title, social, seduce. I mean... Do we need to... Does she need to seduce Bernard? I'm not entirely sure. No, you can't do that now anyway, because... Because um, Bernard, when he's done his morning prayers and all that kind of stuff, is going to um is gonna nip down to the other place and do some schmoozing and try to get them on board. So uh, you haven't got time for any seducing right now. Sorry, Betty. You'll have to wait for a bit. But uh, right, Nika's educating geek, which is wonderful. And um, yeah, what have we got going on down here then? Are you actually able to produce some stuff? Because if you are, if we could get some flour, that would be brilliant. That'd be so good if we could get some flour. Um, Bernard is currently... What are your needs like, Bernard? Where are we? Um, food? You do need to go and eat something. You need to go and eat something, Bernard, I suspect. Can you go and grab a bite to eat before we send you away? You're doing some sort of weird thing with rat pnub. Um, yeah, can you go and eat? Oh, you have eaten. You ate some of the rubbishy rutabaga stuff. Uh, Geek's levelling up, which is marvellous. Ooh, hang on. What's what's this? Pause time. Pause time. There's There are scary symbols. What's that mean? The unholy horde is about to attack. If they succeed, this city will, co will be completely destroyed and the lords exterminated. Oh. Oh. Okay. There are 17 unholy horde fighters there. The only thing is, if they take Greenspire, next up is our alliance. Okay, right, we need Mist Haven on board. Mist Haven, <laughs> please come along and keep us alive. Invite to our alliance. Bernard, go and get them on board immediately. Because bad things are happening over here in the neighbours. Um, are they sending troops? Lakehold. Lakehold are sending troops. I think it might be a bit too much, is it? Um... What have they got? Can we go and help? That there is a fight happening right now. I don't know if we'll get there in time. The battle has begun, it said there. The battle has begun. Perunka. Is Perunka the baddie? I don't know if Perunka's from the Holy Horde. Uh, no, the Holy Horde have got a terrifying thing. Um, I'm, I don't know. But that's not their flag either. I don't know who Perunka is. I'm not quite sure. I think maybe the Holy Horde are these guys. With, but they have a crown. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Yeah, they, Perunka isn't one of these people. They're not one of these people. So I assume, yes, that that's the Holy Horde. Or it's just another fighting band. I do not know. But okay, right. We'll keep an eye on that. Because that could be troublesome. Um, ah, okay. The other king has gone. So King Slavomir's left. He stuck around way less than uh, the other chappy down here. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to come down here. Oh, people are paying tribute to us. Uh, Zumberg paid tribute. What did you bring, people of Zumberg? I'm not entirely sure. We got some herbs from you and some iron from you. Okay, useful building stuff. Marvellous. Right, that's all very good. Um, yeah, got to keep an eye on this. Uh, Edric from Lakehold has sent some people over. Um, okay, just a couple of fighters. Three people, is that all? Um, oh, 
my beloved friend Bernard. Oh, this is amazing. Right, Miss Taven are on board. Again, I hope for a day when there'll be no need to form alliances. There we go, all the same stuff. Slavomir is now part of the alliance. Okay, right. That's completely brilliant. Well done, Bernard. Very impressive. Now we have a little bit of a challenge because who do we try and get on board? Because everybody next to us, I think, either doesn't like us very much or is already part of an alliance. So Bright Vale down here, they're part of an alliance. They're the heads of an alliance down here. Moon Realm are part of Great Miss Alliance. Um, yeah, Sparkfall, there's no board there, so I assume they're kind of together somehow. Ah, no, hang on. They might be doing the military thing. So Sparkfall have conquered Dragonhorn, I assume. Yeah, because they were fighting, weren't they? So, okay, so Dragonhorn are vassals of Sparkfall, and the only other people are Greenspire that we could possibly get on board, but Greenspire are not having the best of times because they're being attacked by these load of terrible things over there. So, um... I don't know where we go. What do we do with this? How do we deal with this situation? I mean, we can't go over here because we can't get them now to to join our thing. We can't get them to join our alliance. So I'm not quite sure how we go about doing that now. I, I don't know. Um, that's a castle. Lovely. It's a nice castle. Thank you for sharing. Can I look at this down here now? I want to look at Dragonhorn. Thank you. Um, so politics. You invite your alliance. You're a vassal. So you can't be interacted with in that manner. And then we go down here. Politics invites your alliance. This action can only be formed with a neighbour with whom you share a common border. Oh, I don't know how to do this then. I'm not quite sure how we're going to make this work. Because unless we somehow break this alliance, can, can we do something sinister? Can we do this and make them break their alliance? Uh, peace treaty, we don't, we're not really fighting with them as such, politely man tribute, envoy visit. How do we, I don't know how we do this. I don't know how we get them on board. It might be that we've missed our chance and we took too long sorting stuff out. Um, okay, Joe, you know what? For now, get Bernard back home. Oh, look at, look how lovely land look. It's so big and glorious now. It is magnificent. Oh yeah, we'll get Bernard to come back home, which is good. And then, oh, here we go. Here we go. People are at the pub. And I imagine because they haven't been at the pub for eight days, people are having a jolly old time of it. I imagine people are having a little bit too much to drink. But there we go, look. People are in the pub. Yay, right there we go. Yeah, we've got somebody working in the pub. It's all fine. Okay, brilliant. Right, so hopefully that can sort out people's fatigue thing. Um, so yeah, the only issue we have then is that the treasury is nearly empty. Um, and we're not making any alcohol. So we are going to run out of alcohol. We've only got 36 bits left, which isn't great. The protection of the Loving Family will soon be lifted. The Loving Family notifies you that as your province's population has reached 50, within five days they will withdraw their protection. After this, your neighbours who have relations with you below minus 15 can engage in aggressive actions. Oh no! Oh, okay. Uh, be sure by that time you have good relations with the powerful noble houses and a competitive army. We might have one of those, possibly. <laughs> I don't think we've got two. And we can go and do some more trading stuff. Um, right, okay. I mean, all that looks good. And I'm very happy we've got this in. This is brilliant. Look at that. Look at that. Who are you? You're so happy. Lantra there. Lantra, well done. That is very impressive. Look at that. You are just throwing your hands in the air like you just do not care. Not a care has been taken about the hand throwing. It's all very impressive. Okay, good. Good. I'm glad people are enjoying themselves. That's quite nice. Because you know, they have worked very hard. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Wonderful. Good to see that the tavern is up and running and people can have a little drinky poos. Oh, and I've just seen something wonderful. Look at that over there. We've produced some meat. The pig farm has actually made some meat, I think possibly for the first time ever, because it does take a little while to kind of cycle round to, you know, get the pigs and grow them and then kind of, you know, do all the bad stuff and get the meat. So it does take a little while. So we are now acquiring meat, okay, which is another food source, which is particularly fantastic. So hopefully very soon we can have a decent supply of meat. I'm very tempted to maybe get another field in the Rutabagas and another pig farm 
just to really, really get the most of all the stuff. That'd be great. So get lots of meat because the pigs eat the rutabaga. So that'd be quite good. Get loads of meat. And then eventually, yeah, get another one of these fields in to produce a lot of flour. And then we do need the hop field in. How near are we? Nika is studying hop food and beer. 89%. So not quite there. Not quite there. But yet yeah, slowly but surely, they are working out how hop fields and beer work. I mean, they're drinking enough of it over there as it is. So I would have thought that might have helped. But there we go. So that'll be done at some point soon-ish, hopefully. Oh, no, saying that, Nika isn't enjoying beer over here. Nika is enjoying time in the library over here. And it's nearly done. 98% runtime on 99, 100%. We know how to plant a hop field or whatever the word was. Going to build a hop field, let me build it. I suppose how to uh, I don't know place a hop field, and also make some beer. This is wonderful. Okay, so the hop fields are again a weird eighty wood. I'm not quite sure why it's that much. Um, and then the brewery, where we can then turn all the stuff that we've got into the beer, is twenty wood. Okay, I think for now. Let's just sort of keep it as it is for the moment. Well, we haven't got enough wood anyway to do the building work, so we you know, can't do that anyway. But I think run time on into the morning. Let's just move things on a bit. And um, yeah, we'll just see what things are like in the morning. But yeah, hopefully everyone can wake up nice and happy and jolly and rested. Now they've had a lovely, lovely night on the booze. We appear to have acquired three more people. So now we've got seven unemployed people and 11 homeless people. Okay, what we need to do is I think we need to sort that out. So let's go down to here and we shall build ourselves a lumber mill. Let's get the lumber mill down here. Look, loads of trees down here we can cut down. That'll provide jobs and also wood so we can then build more houses because I think we're going to need more houses. So let's put the lumber mill, um, although ideally a pig farm would go there. Let's put it down here maybe. So I kind of took it. Oh, can it go over here maybe? And no, that's a little bit. There's not enough trees around there. Let's put it down here. I think if we put it there, it's not going to interfere with any more fields that go in over there. So if we put it just there, look, That'll do. I don't know why it took us to just there. That was slightly obscure, but okay, game, that's fine. It was a lovely to look at that thing there, but we're going to put this here. Thank you very much. There we go. Marvellous. Um, Betty's getting the personality trait greedy. Oh, oh, that's probably not very good. Uh, greedy. Greedy is dresses in rags. Positive thoughts like ring from rings are twice as strong. Other lords dislike this trait. Reason. Went too long without rings. Oh, oh, okay. You had a torturous desire. Um, oh dear. Right, so we've made you greedy, so you dress in rags. That doesn't really make any sense, but okay. Uh, right, maybe, should, should we give you some rings? <laughs> Can we give you some rings? Um, I, I don't know how to do it. Where are they? Reward. We've got 20, how many rings have you got? How many have you got to your to your person? You've got Oh you've got no oh you've got zero. Oh oh no that is quite bad. That is quite bad. I've got tick time on while this is going on. Um yes, we shall reward you, absolutely. Um yeah, sorry, sorry, wife of ours. A little bit late, probably. A little bit late to the party with this one. But there you go. Would you like some holy magical ring thing with jigs? I'm sure you would. And that'll hopefully bring your mood up a little bit. You also want some and uh, Nika is of another culture, mild hunger. Oh, crikey, she's got stalled letter writing desire um, and moderate fatigue. And Ors is becoming obsessed with the with the magic ring things. OK, we need to sort this out. We need to sort that out. We need to buy some more. What's the issue there? Nika is depressed. Oh, dearie me. OK, OK, somebody needs to go and have a chat with Nika, I think. Um, uh, I mean, Bernard? Could you do that, Bernard? Although you do have other jobs to do, Bernard. You've got your sort of uh, management jobs to do. Make sure they're all kind of kept up with as well. But yeah, could could we go and have a chat? Could we go and just spend some time? Yeah, Bernard, go and cheer her up, please. Because that would be quite good. And Geek has got to level four in manners. Geek is looking very, very good. Well done, Geek. Very impressive. For somebody who is five years old, they are not too shabby at all. Bravo. Oh, this is a little bit of an issue. We haven't got enough lovely rutabaga to put into the pig farm. So we can't now produce any more meat. Botherations. It needs a hundred. One hundred every time. 
Good lord. Okay, right, maybe we should get another rutabaga field in, but we can't because that needs 40 wood and we haven't got 40 wood yet. But hopefully if we get this in down here, we should be able to get 40 wood. Come on, come on, keep building this. Let's just try and get some more wood. Uh, the ruler of Misthaven has died. Slavomir's passed away. Oh, Bernard's really sad. Death of a loved one. Oh, he loved him as a friend. Are we still buddies? Are we still buddies? I think we are. I think we're still friends, which is good. Okay, right. That's splendid. I'm, I'm happy about that. That's all good. Um, Bright Vale. Do we need to go and schmooze the people of Bright Vale? Because they might possibly join us. Were they not allied to somebody else? But now they're not, look. They're not. Maybe that's what we need to do. Oh, there's some stabby knife action going on over there. Crikey. Oh, no, that's too mean for us. Um, Yeah, maybe. Maybe we should go down there and talk to those guys. Okay, yeah, maybe that's what we do. Right, I want to get this built. I'm going to wrap things up in a second because you know, I think we have done okay today. We've got two allies now, which is marvellous. But let's just sort this final bit out. So a point, a manager. Um, uh, Nika, you can do that. Yeah, Nika, you can go manage that, please. Sort of down here. That's all fine. Uh, okay. So with that done, I think we pause time. And next time, when we come back, we're going to have to do what we can to try to get Bright Vale to join our alliance in. Now, the only thing is, they might not like us so much because they're of a different culture. These two, they were the same culture. And that was sort of okay. They were sort of happy about that. But, um, but yeah, now, now these guys are not. So that might be quite tricky. What's that sad face for? Uh, hunted together, yes. Woman on the throne, failed to show up for a duel. Oh, hang on, what's happening here? Uh, people's opinion of Sandra. Who's Sandra? Oh, I see. Oh, that's the opinion of the people from here. Ah, right, okay. Okay, right, I see. I'm with you. Sorry, yes, yeah, so it shows the opinions of the location you click as viewed by the other people. Right, that makes perfect sense. So, yeah, we'll finish up for now. And then come back next time and Bright Vale will be our main target. And if we get that done, that means Bernard's ambition will be achieved. Bernard's dream will be realised. And then, I don't know, do we get another one? Do we get another mission type thing? I'm not quite sure. We, of course, do have a potential threat over here. The Unholy Horde might possibly cause some problems for us. I do not know. We will see when we come back next time. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Norland. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. Oh, look. They're having a lovely time around the campfire, and we're about to ruin that for everybody. You're a fast learner. Oh, and you're a killer. <laughs> Get the killing the sheep. <gasps> this is an outrage. And there we go. Horst has finished his snowman. She's gone. Gisela has lost consciousness. <laughs> this is this is not going to end well, is it?